Should I start? <laughs> Does anyone have any fun at all? <laughs> um, I liked my last scene. I really enjoyed doing that. It was the uh, sort of speech. And it was funny. It was good. Sort of getting knocked out was great. But um, yeah, that was definitely my most enjoyable scene. I, uh, I just sort of loved the whole vibe of it. When Dave and Dan gave it to me, I was just so excited. So, so you like you like getting hit in the head very hard. Better than all the naked sex scenes with the hot women. Well, it's more the acting, George. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, if you, if, you know, if you want me to say that, yeah, I love having sex on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, I loved working with Richard last year. I had a lot of scenes with Richard, and we seem to live in the tent. So, um, I think my favourite one was the last one that we did with Alan Taylor. Um, where I had to reminisce with you and then you basically told me, no. Yeah. Yeah. So, I love that one. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to be specific about it, but yeah. all of the, the scenes I get with Michelle, I, I do, they're my favourite scenes. I love working with her and the writing. Is, Amazing for us, we have such a like, complexity, just like the characters and the books that they have done for all that hour, and we have a, a great time in our tent, we're always in the tent. Um, but every one of them is my pleasure. <laughs> no, he is my son. <laughs> Alright, we have a next question. Costumes on the show, and how does it help you get into character? I I love wearing my costume. It's, it affects everything. Um, with Rob, it's one of the best things at the start of the day. I, when I'm in all my armor and my leather and my fur, it, it changes the way I walk. So that leads into how we play the character, changes the way I breathe. So that changes how my voice is when I'm acting. So it's it's one of my favorite things. I mean. When I first got it, it was awesome, and then, you know, kind of day 39 of filming, and it's 4 a.m., and it's freezing, and you're putting on the costume that still stinks from yesterday's horse riding, and you're like, this costume to dry. But then as soon as it's on, and you're walking about, and you've got your sword, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's one of the, uh, the best things that I get to do first thing. Yeah. Michelle Clapton, who is the costume designer, is just a genius. And she works with an amazing team of people. Her mind and the research she puts into every costume, every character, every try, it's incredible. And it's a joy. And because it's on television, you don't actually, you can't focus in on it so clearly. But the detail, you know, the embroidery, that everything is just done to you. The, you know, it's really perfect. Fascinating. Perfect. And it's just a delight and a privilege to wear some of her, her designs. It's wonderful. I know one, one uh, couple of costume related questions uh, that uh, fans occasionally ask me, uh, um, Rose, is uh, one, one question is beyond the wall. Why, why doesn't anyone wear their hats? <laughs> don't your ears get cold up there? <laughs> I know, I was so lucky though with my hood because I had a hood That's right. my costume and I would keep it up and put it up whenever I could just because the wind was pretty ferocious up there kind of on the top of the mountains and stuff. But um but no, it was very, very hard to have that hood. But nobody wore hat apart from Simon who played Corey Harmat. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he kept his hat on, he never took it off. Very <laughs> 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 And and uh, of course the my thirteen year old colleague, the uh, producer in charge of boobies, uh, must have fallen down on the show in Carth because someone has changed the design of the Carthian gown that uh, is described in the book. How did that happen? No. Well, I mean, I wanted to enjoy wearing a costume for season two. <laughs> um, yeah. We, yeah, we did, we, did, we did change it slightly so that we were a bit more warm. Oh. <laughs> I see. It was a warm issue. Okay. Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, speaking of costumes here, yes? Hello. Uh, I was wondering if you had your own sigil, what would it be? It's for the whole band. 
And, and Romans, if you could tell me that I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, an Arsenal badge. <laughs> I think mine is an ostrich. It's on the show. <laughs> uh, I'd be a wolf. Definitely a wolf. You know? I'd, be a wolf for sure. I'd go for a horse, I think. Yeah, beautiful horse. I would go for an eagle. Thank you. 